Hello everybody and welcome back to another uh, video of a Call of Duty video. Um, I'm going to be telling you what my review is about the Black Ops 6 beta. I mean, I know there's a lot of videos going around expressing their review or they're waiting until week 1 and week 2 is over. But starting off with week 1 of the beta, I think it start off really really good I mean there's pros and cons and we're going to jump into those pros and cons and the weapons and the perks and all those and the leveling all those sorts of things we're going to be talking about in this video and I have some uh, Black Ops 6 gameplay for you guys so you can watch while you're listening to me um, if you guys want more of these videos in the future when Black Ops 6 comes out, I will be streaming Black Ops 6 Zombies, Multiplayer, and Warzone Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday. I will be streaming those, and I'll be making videos on Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. So, so I can get those out of the way for you guys, and so you guys have something to watch on this channel. By the way, if you guys are new to this channel, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Um, if you guys want more videos just like this, um, I am new to these voiceover videos that I'm doing, so bear with me here. Um, so yeah, let's get, first thing we're going to get into, we're going to talk about the pros and the cons, and then we can jump into other things. The pros is the game feels really good, the movement feels really good and all that I like the I like the main menu I like the I like how the layout is on the menu um, the settings is a huge a huge deal I love the settings I love how you can change the HUD um, I love how you can change the minimap the HUD and everything like that you know what I'm talking about and um, it, it, it's it's really it's really phenomenal with these settings that you can do about changing the HUD. You can take it off. You can do it the default way. Um, very cool. Um, the movement is really. It feels really good. I mean, it feels clanky, scratchy, in some areas of the on me movement, and it feels weird. But it feels really good. You know, get your hands on it. Get the feel of it. You know. Um, I've been working my butt off the uh, last few days when I played this in the week one beta of trying out the different styles of the movement and stuff. Um, uh, so yeah, um, cons I have. There are a couple cons. Um, first thing, it's a beta. Nothing has to be perfect in a beta of a game because the full game launches on October 25th but the beta doesn't have to be perfect but I would appreciate if the loading screens are a little bit smoother like from the main menu to the actual game um, it's just it freezes and everything it you know you know what I'm talking about. It freezes and then it lags and then it jumps into the game and then it loads in the map. It's it's clanky. It's not that great. Um, gameplay wise, gameplay another con is the servers. When you, I mean, you freeze sometimes and messes up your gameplay. And you aim. It freezes when you move and you miss the enemy and then you get shot from the behind. And it's just, it's just stupid. I mean, so those are some pros and cons that I have about the beta. I mean, there's, there's lots to jump into. Um, I mean, if you guys have any pros and cons about the beta, let me know down in the comments section down below. I would love to hear your thoughts and concerns. Um, I would like to hear some pros first, and then you can tell me one or two pros. And then if you have one or two cons, you can post those down in the comments as well. It's just, I like to see some pros. 
I'm jumping into weapons. I love the weapons. The XM4 is back. I've been playing a lot of XM4. XM4. Um, in the beta because it's my favorite weapon. As you guys can see now in the gameplay, it's not the XM4. You're probably wondering. Um, but later on in this video, I will be playing the XM4 because it's my favorite gun. I played it in the Cold War. I played it on the Warzone map. I've been playing on for dance, you know. I mean, I can't wait for for dance to come back. That's a huge W on my part, so I can get some footages. So, and I hope, I really hope that the events in Black Ops 6 are way better than Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2, because I mean they're a huge L. I mean, Modern Warfare 3 events suck. I mean, I don't like them at all. I do like the XP events, but I wish um, that the Godzilla event, Godzilla event um, in Modern Warfare 3 was you see Godzilla and King Kong fighting on Rebirth Island or on Urzikstan, you know? So I wish they copy and paste those, you know, have some fun with it. You know, I bet the audience will appreciate those type of events, you know. Um, another thing I want to touch on, back to the weapons. Uh, sorry, I went off topic, but back to the weapons. I love the weapons. I haven't played too much of the weapons. Um, mostly I've been playing this small SMG that is in the gameplay right now on screen. Um... I think it's an SMG or an assault rifle. I'm not really sure. Let me know down in the comment section below. Um, but yeah, the weapons. I tried sniping earlier. And it's just... I like the sniping part. It's just... I need to get used to it. Because I really want to do some more sniping. So, yeah. Um, sniping feels really... Is alright. Sniping, sniping with the sniper the t with the two snipers is all right um the assault rifles the ak-74 is really nice um xm4 feels uh, my favorite gun that's like my main weapon to use um in the beta i've been playing with a lot of those like i said earlier that's like my favorite game um also, the other assault rifles I haven't tried um, because I don't know. If you find your uh, like your main gun that you like using from Cold War, and you find another assault rifle in this beta, um, and it feels similar, you might want to stick to that one. And then if you don't, if and if you move on to other weapons and the other weapons don't feel right, you move back to your main weapon. So. I felt like a lot of people has their main weapon to use, like an SMG. I haven't played a lot of SMGs. I'm more of an assault rifle guy. So um yeah, I like the weapons. They're they're cool. The shotguns. Okay. Here is a con about the shotgun. I never tried the shotguns, but every time you get shot with a shotgun, they're either one shot or two shots. And it takes down half of your health. So, probably one shot in the head and two shots for the body. Who knows? I haven't played shotgun. So, let me know down in the comments how many shots does it take for the head and body. Um, I want to know. Sorry. Um, yeah, I want to know how many shots it takes from the head and body for the shotgun in Black Ops 6 Beta. Um, if you guys, um, but if you can't play the beta, it's alright, you don't, you don't need to experiment, let me know down in the comments, you don't have to do that, um, but yeah, um, another thing that I have, you know, here's another pro, um, I like, I like the maps, maps is pretty good, I mean, the maps feel alright, I mean, they're not, they're medium, small, they're not too large, you know. They're they're a good size map for domination, hard point, you know. But I feel like 
in this in this gameplay right now this map feels very compact I mean it's very it's not very it's it's open but I feels like when you get in a certain area it's compact and you're, there's not a lot of moving around because you get stuck the game freezes you know that kind of issue but you know this map feels awesome now let's see you got scud with the satellite dish um that's 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 open it's small you can see everything i like it i like scud it's my favorite map of all time um let's see what other map um the 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 map with the trains on it the broken down trains that's my and eh, that's my mid map it's mid to me I mean it goes off and on it depends on how the game goes you know how well your team is I like the map on that um so yeah um gala I did try gala I mean gala and pit are okay I mean uh, I don't like pit that much it reminds me of Indiana Jones the temple of doom scene where they ride the mine carts but it's alright, that's my feeling, so they should have a they should have an Indiana Jones collab in the future for Black Ops 6 because the pit will relate to the Temple of Doom scene where they ride the minecarts out of that stupid place in Temple of Doom. So that's all I have to say. Um uh Gala, Gala looked fun. You see that in the campaign gameplay before Call of Duty next um, I like Gala that one's cool I shred in Gala so it depends on how the other team is like your your opponent's team is how well you do um, but Pit and Gala are okay I don't like Pit that much but it's an alright it the game freezes a lot when you play on Pit if you guys notice that let me know down in the comment section below um let's see what's another one rewind um the liberty falls map i do not like rewind i feels like it's too big for some of the modes and you cannot do anything on on it um rewind is my worst map my top worst map but all the other maps will are my favorite even though there's a lot more maps here to come on October 25th when the game launches when a full game launches there are going to be new weapons and um new maps that you never played before so I like that um uh, another pro, another pro, not a con, another pro is the beta rewards. I like the beta rewards. Um, I feel like the leveling, so the beta rewards is a con, uh, is a pro. Pro, I meant pro, not con. For a con about the beta is the XP. I feel like you're leveling up your weapon fast and then your rank your rank xp um kind of gets a little bit slowed down like if you go to rank 15 16 18 19 the rank xp system feels a little bit slow but they did fix it um i don't know about the rank they fixed the weapon xp and so you level that up a lot so they did they did fix that so um that's okay I'm done with my pros and cons um so we talked about the weapons feel great uh we talked about the maps the worst and my worst map rewind um the modes the modes are all right it's just like a regular cog game with hard point domination kill order is new I never played kill order so um kill order is new to me um the training aspect when you first launch up in the beta and you never played it before and it's a new game they put you in a tutorial um there's one spot that you can't figure out that's what i did there's one spot that i can't figure it out 
so I just exit out and try it for myself in in a couple of matches so I don't play a lot of tutorials in shooting games I just jump right in there figure out for myself and see what works see what um, works best for me in a map and what doesn't work for me in a map so if you guys get that feeling also let me know down in the comments section below um so uh, so yeah i mean it feels great i like it i like the maps i like the weapons um the lag is terrible <laughs> because at night the lag gets worse i don't like that so um they gotta fix that um when the game launches on october 25th they gotta fix the lag the loading screen the loading screens and a whole bunch of other stuff and the rank leveling xp system because it gets slower um another thing that i have a concern about uh in the in the launch of this game i'm not worried about the beta i know this is a beta review but there's one thing there's a couple things i have a concern about in the future of this game um when the game launches on october 25th that the xp is gonna decrease and they're gonna have to fix it again you know they're gonna screw up one thing and then they're gonna have to fix another and when they fix that thing the other thing it breaks down and whatnot so they gotta fix that issue uh, so i'm worried about the xp so if they like if they said for an example if they said um your prestige level uh resets not your weapon level um i have a concern of what if your weapon level goes back down but you still get your camos and there's no you don't have levels for those camos anymore which is fine which is great i love that system that's a new system um but like if your weapon level goes down and your and your prestige rank is up and they gotta fix that they you know they gotta fix it there's there's a whole bunch of bugs they gotta fix you know they fix one thing they break another they break that thing they have to fix another you know it's like it's like a whole bunch of games you know games this uh y this year newer games coming out you know i mean there's a lot of issues with technology nowadays and developing games but um but this game has been in development four years so within four years of development they gotta have a better loading screen i'm not trashing on the game guys just let you know i'm saying um the loading screens find uh, i find them kind of clunky i don't like the loading screens kind of um yeah um they gotta have a better loading screen system so if your screen turns black you either gotta have a line of it loading and a picture of the map and then when it loads the map you have the map on the side of what the how big it is and then the name of the map when the map loads in and when it's counting down to start the match that will be a great huge system if you know what I'm talking about let me know down in the comments saying yes or no so um, I've been so right now as you guys see I switch over to a sniper to try out sniping because I never done sniping like at all like in my lifetime I tried and then I suck at it so if you guys have tips or tricks of a beginner sniping let me know down in the comments because as you can see now I am the worst at it I don't I don't get sniping but I do have another video coming out um, later this week when because every so often I make a video of, um, of me trying keyboard and mouse um for the first time um so the first time i played keyboard and mouse was in modern warfare 2019 um i never done so much with cold war or any of that stuff when it came out but 
Um, so yeah, so I will have a video of me playing mouse and keyboard for the first time in Black Ops 6 before the beta ends, and then I will have that video out. Um, I will have another video out tomorrow discussing the new weekly challenges and all that kind of stuff for the new aftermarket part and then the patch notes for tomorrow so um there's and then I yeah as you can see now I switch back to the XM4 and sniping because I am new to sniping so I want to try sniping so much I want to get good at sniping but my main ability is assault rifles SMGs shotguns try to get better at those also but I'm good at assault rifles I just need to get good at other um, things like sniping sniping is my like I wanna get into sniping so alright enough ranting on sniping I wanna um let's see um the textures the map the graphics feels nice it feels great I love the texture of the maps I love the graphics of the map um, I love the gun sounds I love I love everything about this beta um, there's just a few pros and cons with that we discussed um, earlier in the video about pros and cons how the things feels clunky and not you know so uh, the the loadout system it feels fine it feels like it's from Cold War you can switch your gun um, before you start moving in the match so after you die you switch your loadout it changes that way um, I like it how in, in at COD next um, the people the people on the panel say you have that feature where you can switch your field upgrade but not your uh, weapons which that is a really good system I like that system they did that in Cold War but and then it's at the start of the match but in the beginning of the match and through on this now now when the game launches you can change your field upgrade whatever you want to be um, when you're in the middle of a zombies match I think that's how they put it um, let me know let me know if you guys they they told us that we can do that um that's what i say um as as you can see now it is laggy the gameplay feels laggy it freezes it does things and you just you just die automatically when it lags because you just it's not the video it's it's the game that lags and you're trying to shoot it lags when you turn it lags it's 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 clunky um they gotta fix that before launch you know the the, the beta doesn't have to be perfect it's just a beta people are trying it out for the first time without going to call of duty next which i want to be invited next time um that i think that would be fun to go to but yeah um, I'm not uh, the thing that I'm worried about the full launch of this game and the whole aspect of this game I think it's gonna fall I think it's gonna fall and then go back up just like Black Ops 4 I like Black Ops 4 I love the gameplay in Black Ops 4 it's just it's just weird so it feels like Black Ops 4 because you can move your yellow thing um, your grenade and your uh, field upgrade into the middle and make it feel like Black Ops 4 so very cool I like that a little bit of Cold War I mean people say that there this is a Cold War DLC which if that's the case if this is Black Ops 6 and it has Adler and it goes off of Cold War I really want all of the previous operators from Cold War and new operators from Cold War to be transferred over to Black Ops 6. 
I want everything from Cold War to be transferred over to Black Ops 6. Like operators, that. Only operators to be transferred over. Because Rambo, John McClane, uh, Samantha Maxis, um, all those um, characters uh, will be nice to be played for sure in Black Ops 6. But. I hope and the skins from those characters be transferred over in Black Ops 6. If you guys agree, comment down below because I have a... My buddy and mine are thinking if people are saying this is another thing just like Black Ops Cold War. I want Rambo, John McClane... All, all the operators from Cold War to be transferred over to Black Ops 6. Even though it's not new, I just want those skins, those operators in Black Ops 6. Uh, that's my opinion. I mean, I don't know what your guys' opinions are. This is my opinion. So, if you guys agree what my opinion is, I respect your opinion. So, um... So, yeah, I mean, that's all about this beta review. I mean, everything is great. There's a lot of pros and cons. I am concerned about the full launch of this game. The campaign, I'm going to play campaign. Um, it's either campaign early access or zombies early access. I really want to see what they get in the in the campaign or zombies early access. If they do... Uh, early zombie early access. I'll have a video up when that. Uh, I'll have a zombie video up or live stream of live stream zombies, and then make a video of my what my thoughts are on the zombies mode. Um, oh, sorry about my voice. Um, uh, so yeah. Um, and then if we if they do a campaign early access, I'll play through the story make some episodes and play some campaign um so yeah sorry about my voice guys it's it's kind of scratchy i mean i'm trying not to yawn but i got to so i don't want to do it while i'm talking to you guys because we're having a conversation here kind of a conversation um kill streaks are kind of nice um, at the end of this video, you will see me going through all the weapons and everything because I kind of want to, I kind of want to get a feel. I mean, there's one thing, there's, okay, there's a couple new features I like about Black Ops 6. Um, let's see, the body shield, the body shield system, one is the body shield system. It's very nice having the body shield system. Um, it's new and it's hard to do. Um, but, uh, and then you have, let's see, the new movement system. It feels great. It's a little bit clunky um, to get used to. But once you get that um, clunkiness out of the way of the new movement, it'll feel a lot more better and smooth to you. So, that's my opinion. Once you get those clunkiness movements out of the way, you'll uh, it'll be smooth for you guys. So, um, another new thing is the HUD. I like how you can change the HUD. That's a new feature, uh, as I can tell. I don't know if that's been in the other new call in the previous Call of Duty games that you can change the HUD. Um, that's a new feature. Um, Let's see. Um, I like the operators. Operators are nice. Um, that's nothing new. It's just the same old, you know. So um, it's just I don't like. Um, I don't like XP, and when you progress in the higher levels, I feel like it's getting a little bit slow I feel like it should be the same as you're seeing on here uh, ranking up really fast you know keep doing that you know I feel like that would be really cool I think that would be fun um, 
that's my fun aspect of it ranking up really fast um wild cards um i never get to see any wild cards um at all i never get to i never played with the wild cards um let's see there is a gun um in here that i haven't played i have played a little bit of Let's see the AK-74. Um, but I haven't played the very last assault rifle. So there's 12 guns, and let me know down in down in the comments what are you grinding first? Are you gonna grind for dark matter in in multiplayer? Because I never do got dark matter. Um, when I play Cold War. I've been trying and then I lost my first account. It won't let me back in. So I had to start a new account and I was like, you know what? I got three diamond LMGs in Cold War on my first account. I don't want to start over. I'm proud of it. I'm not going to redo the grind. So, but now it's on Game Pass. Um, you can pre order it on PlayStation. I mean, I, I pre-ordered my game on PlayStation and then I got it for free on Game Pass Ultimate and so I have two accounts I can grind on so it's kind of nice um, this, this is gonna be my way of you know I'm gonna be grinding there's gonna be lots of videos coming out um, streaming um, so yeah I already told you later in this video how I'm gonna do streaming uh, uploading videos Tuesday Thursday Friday and then Monday Wednesday Saturday Sunday live stream um, that's how I like to do things more live streamings even even out the odds three videos a week or two videos a week will be nice one videos a week are nice you know that's how my system is um, uh, YouTube put that system on my YouTube channel so I can only do what they gave me what they give me so um so yeah grinding so if you guys are gonna grind in multiplayer let me know down in the comments um, if you guys are gonna grind in zombies let me know down in the comments I think I might grind zombies first then multiplayer um, and then I want um, and Warzone. If you guys are gonna grind the Warzone Master Camos now, now that that is something new. Um, Warzone Master Camos is new. Um, I will say here, Master Camos and Warzone are now official. If you guys want to grind those, go grind those when the game launches, when the new map launches, Area 99, and also. Um, what are your thoughts on Area 99 that you saw on COD Next, the live stream that they did? What are your thoughts on Area 99 Nuketown, where they made Nuketown? So, um, that is going to conclude this episode, or not this episode, why did I say episode? This is going to conclude the video, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, if you guys want... Uh, more videos like this let's reach 50 or over 50 views for more voice over videos see right now it feels a little clunky right there loading into game it you know it freezes up right there I want smooth things even though it's the beta I want smooth things when the game launches on October 25th so yeah thank you guys for so much for watching Thank you guys for listening to me. I know my, you know, I'm not the best at doing this stuff, making videos at this stuff. I'm trying my best. So, yeah. And thank you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everybody.